Welcome to CBJ Today, covering Blue Jackets training camp, which is being brought to you by Ohio Health. I'm Bob McElligot. As you can see, it's casual Saturday, and the Blue Jackets were not casual today. They were very businesslike on the ice, both at Nationwide Arena and in the Ohio Health Ice House. Blue Jackets were on the ice for about two hours earlier today, and just a day after they had about 16 or 17 players uh, held out of practice yesterday because of COVID concerns. Just about everybody was back today. There were only two players that were unaccounted for today. One was Miko Koivu, and the other one was Elvis Merzlikens. So the Blue Jackets worked on their regular offensive and defensive stuff today. Then they scrimmaged for a bit on the main ice before going over to the ice house to work on special teams. What did head coach John Tortorella think about all of that today? The practices, I thought the practice was okay. I thought the scrimmage sucked. And, and I, I don't have an answer for the scrimmages. I, I, it's like, uh, it's just so hard to get them to do the things you really want them competing at. Yep. Uh, but we got more minutes out of it today. Uh, got a chance to work on some power play stuff and penalty killing. Uh, so I thought it was a good day. It's a long day. I mean, we're practicing a long time, really out of necessity, especially, you know, 14, 15 of them missing yesterday. So, um, yeah, we'll get ready to go tomorrow. John Tortorella, a man that never minces his words. Well, with Miko Koivu out, it gave Torts the opportunity to move some players around today. One thing he did is he put Kevin Stenlin in the middle on the fourth line and put Riley Nash on a wing as opposed to playing center, as he has been doing. He also took Alexander Texier off the wing on the top line and put him as a centerman. He played between Emil Bemstrom and Liam Foody today. In exchange, Mikhail Gregorenko went on the top line with Pierre-Luc Dubois and Oliver Bjorkstrand. But again, with five days to go before the regular season begins, John Tortorella thought he had the opportunity to try to take a look at some different things, especially when it comes to Alexander Texier. I still think that's the spot he's going to be in uh, as his career keeps on moving. Um, you know, it moves, it moves. I wanted to see Nash on right wing. Well, I think Nash has improved tremendously the past couple of years and in all the spots that we put him in, uh, you know, what does our center ice look with with Tex in the middle and Nash over to the right side? And uh, when Miko comes back, it is, there's a number of different things I want to look at the center ice position. Greg Aranko, he can play center. Um, so there's, there's certain things we want to look at uh, as best we can in such a short period of time. Now, another thing the Blue Jackets did today is they signed another goaltender. And some people went, whoa, why do you need another goaltender? Well, I, I can tell you very simply why. The Blue Jackets will have a taxi squad. John Tortorella uh, talking about that earlier today, saying that after tomorrow night's scrimmage, there might be some cuts made and they'll decide who's going to go to the American Hockey League, who's going to be on the taxi squad. Well, when you look at the goaltending situation, Jonas Corposalo, Elvis Merzlikens, Matisse Kivlenix, and Brad Thiessen, they are the goalies. Now, do the math. If you're going to have a goalie on your taxi squad, that leaves you just one goaltender, that being Brad Thiessen, and they need at least one more to play in the American Hockey League. So, again, they solved that today. Cam Johnson was signed to a one-year contract. It's a, a two-way NHL, AHL deal. Uh, Johnson's 26, and he has played in 32 AHL games in his career, 11-16-5 and five is record, a 3.80 goals against average. He was with the Binghamton Devils prior to this. So, Again, they needed somebody that could do the job for the Cleveland Monsters. They feel that Cam Johnson is a guy that can do the job for him, and that's why he was signed to a contract. So I mentioned tomorrow's scrimmage. That scrimmage is set for 7 o'clock at Nationwide Arena, and uh, the Blue Jackets had a scrimmage on Wednesday. You heard Torts earlier talking about the, the lack of intensity or not getting what he wants out of the scrimmages. Uh, it's going to be a test for the players that are on the ice. I think, to uh, show what they've got, especially with cuts coming. I think you'll see some guys really turn up their game. Seven o'clock is scrimmage time at Nationwide Arena. Now, we are going to live stream that. I know there were some technical issues on Wednesday, and you had to wait until the next day to see it, but a lot of you did go see it, and thank you very much for that, by the way. But we are planning on streaming it live, and I'll tell you where you can find it live. You'll be able to find it on the Blue Jackets YouTube page, and you'll also be able to find it on the Blue Jackets Twitter account. Okay, so take note of that. Tomorrow night, 7 o'clock, scrimmage live on the Blue Jackets YouTube page and Twitter account. That's where you can find everything. So that pretty much sums up everything for today. Hey, 
you've got that game tomorrow and then there'll be cuts made. It's coming. It's coming very quickly. The start of the regular season in Nashville on Thursday. So get ready. We're not that far away from the start of the Blue Jackets 20th anniversary season. This has been CBJ Today. It's covering Blue Jackets training camp, which is brought to you by Ohio, by Ohio Health. Almost had it too. It was almost there. Training camp brought to you by Ohio Health. I'm Bob McElligot.